I get this question quite often. I don't want to kill myself, but I don't want to live anymore either. What do I do? It, it's so difficult to even have this conversation with people that's experiencing this, but I can understand how they feel. At one point in my life, I felt like I just don't want to wake up no more. I don't want to kill myself, but I just don't want to wake up. It's too much pressure every day. It's too difficult. But the way to get over it is to understand that you mean something to this world. Not in this cliche, oh, you just mean something. Make sure you just live your life to the fullest. No. In the real sense. It's things that you're going to do that's going to create experiences for others. For example, you can take a Kobe Bryant, for example. He plays basketball and he became good at that particular thing to create experience for me and my father to go watch. Somebody, Everybody creates the experience for somebody to have a better life in some way, shape, or form. Whether you are a janitor, whether you are a, a trash collector, whether whatever you are, you are creating an outlet for somebody else to have a better life. Realize that you are special in some regard. You are special. And you have to live in order to make somebody else's life better. That's what we are put here to do. That's what I believe we are put here to do. To make somebody else's life better. And that's what you should wake up to do every day. Although it get hard, taking ourselves out is selfish. Regardless of how we want to say it, no matter how you want to feel. You can say, well, you know, it gets so hard that, you know, I just don't want to live no more. I just, I just want to go. I don't want to commit suicide, but I just want to go to sleep and not wake up. That's an easier way out. No matter how you feel about me telling you, I'm not the motivational speaker that's just going to say things that make you feel good to, to just make you take off. It's not that way. I'm going to be honest, completely honest. Because I felt that way. And I had to find truth within myself. I had to understand that I'm here for a reason. I had to understand that I'm special in some way. Even if I don't understand why I'm special right now. Same way you have to do it. You have to understand that you are special in some way. You may not understand it at this point. But you are. And as you move forward, you'll start seeing things. That's the reason why you go through these highs and lows. You'll start seeing it. You'll start seeing why are you put here in some regard. Even if you, like I said, you you sweeping the floor at a gym. So kids can play on it. You cleaning the playground so kids can play on it. You write in this book so people can understand what you've learned. No matter what it is that you're doing, it's in order to make somebody else's life better, I believe. So that's why you have to look at it that way. You have to look at yourself being special. And you have to realize it's not going to be easy. The easy way out is killing ourselves. Or the easier way out is wishing that everything was different than what it is. But it's not. So we have to deal with it. We have to take it on the chin. Realize you have been through far worse. And you overcame it. To be where you are now. So you have to look at it that way. You must look at it that way. You must understand that you're special. You must understand that you put here to make somebody else's life better. And you may not understand it right now, but it's going to come to you. And you have to be patient. And I trust me, I truly feel you. I felt that way. I've truly felt that way. When I go to sleep, I'll be like, just God, don't wake me up. This life is just too hard. I don't know what I want to do. I don't know where my money is coming in at. I don't know none of this. So just don't wake me up. I felt like that. Then I got over it. Then I felt like that again. Then I got over it. Then I felt like that again. But now I understand that I'm special. Now I understand that I'm necessary for somebody's life. Now I understand that I got to leave a blueprint to make sure people behind me have an easier life than I have it. To make sure they don't feel the way I feel or the way you feel when you go to sleep saying you wish you don't wake up. And that's how I dealt with it. That's how I got over it is understanding that I'm special. And you must understand that you're special as well to get over the thought of feeling like you don't even want to wake up. And that's as real as it gets. Thank you for taking the time out to watch my video. 
Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, make sure you leave a comment. I look forward to engaging, but most importantly, make sure you share this with somebody you know going through what I'm talking about. Thank you.